Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to Danimal Sound. This is Danny Lee. And right now I just want to take a quick look at uh, what a delay throw is as far as uh, special effects and such goes. And to start off, I just want to take a look at uh, this client mix that I'm working on. I've got some vocals here, some layered and some leads. And as you can see, underneath the direct uh, lead vocal here, I have the effect send and it's already programmed in here which is going down to this vocal effects bus here which has this delay and what we're doing and what we're setting out to accomplish I should say is uh, is essentially a throw and what a throw means is we're not doing the effect constantly we're only throwing it literally on certain words or phrases uh, case in point let's take uh, the second verse here where there's no delay, and we're going to come into this spot here where I've got a delay on the end of a phrase. The fear of what will be makes us hide And now Alone in these walls I sit and and as you can see, we've got the delay only on certain aspects of the vocals. What I mean by that is, let me just solo this lead vocal here. And if we remove the automation that I've put on here for the throw, let's take that off. I'm just going to put this on here and turn this on permanently, so to speak. What you're going to hear is you're going to hear every nuance of that vocal is repeated in the background, including every single syllable, enunciation, articulation, and such is going to be repeated. However, the parameter was set for the delay. Here's what I'm talking about. Makes us hide And now I'll put that back in context for you. Makes us hide And one more time with the solo, just so you can hear all the artifacts of the, uh, basically a complete second copy of the, uh, lead vocal slapping back. Makes us hide. And now... And that tends to muddy things up a little bit as you listen to the mix. We only want the tails in this case of each of the words and phrases that we've selected. Let me just undo this, bring this back. And now let's listen to this soloed so Makes you can hear exactly what we're emphasizing. And now And as you can see, we're only alone We're only applying the delay to the ends of the phrases here. And that way the uh, the lyrical content can still make its make its point across and we're not jumbling up the mix with you know, a secondary vocal that's slapping back all the time. And in context, we've got the same thing going on with these other uh, backing vocals as well. Makes so, for instance, if I were to take these off, And now we've got a constant delay on the backing vocals, and that's what this sounds like in, in context of the mix. And now, alone in these walls, it's subtle with the backing vocals in this case, but you can still hear it. So let's put that back on. And one more time, I'll show you what that sounds like with a constant delay on the lead vocal up here. Makes us hide. And you can hear the slap of those original words from the beginning of the phrase. Alone in these walls. It starts to knock the rhythm of things. 
off track a little bit and it gets a little jumbled in the mix and it starts to take away from the point of the vocal. And there you have it. We're just doing a delay throw on the tails of each of these words. That gives us that ambient airy effect that you're hearing uh, without the jumbled articulations of the previous words getting in the way. Cool. So that's how we execute a simple delay throw on a lead vocal. Uh, any questions or suggestions, you can uh, write me directly at me at dannylee.co. That's D-A-N-N-Y-L-E-E dot -E -E co. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.